Okay, assalamu alaikum students. So I hope you have done uh, the multiplication of decimal fractions, the task which I have given. So uh, I think it's quite clear. If you still have any problem, uh, if you still have problem, please uh, let me know by sending personal message on WhatsApp. Okay. So it's uh, kind of very easy. You just need to just uh, uh, let's say I'll just repeat one so that uh, you can have a clear idea again for example let's say 2.65 into 3.32 okay how to multiply this so it's very easy first of all we need to follow that normal multiplication process 5 2s are 10 1 carry 2 6s are 12 plus 1 13 1 carry 2 2s are 4 plus 1 5 okay next we put a 0 or a cross whatever you like so let's put a cross over here 3 5s are 15 1 carry 3 6s are 18 plus 1 19 1 carry 3 2s are 6 plus 1 7 again we take put a cross over here then we multiply it's again the same because I've multiplied by 3 so this also I'm multiplying by 3 so it will be 7 9 5 so once I add it, 0, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 9, 14, 14 plus 5 is 19, 1 carry, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 9, 17, 1 carry, 7 plus 1, 8. So first of all, we just do the normal multiplication. But since after, after decimal, how many digits are here? 2. Again, after decimal, how many digits are here? 2. So in total how many digits after decimal that's 4 so you are you should place the decimal over here because after decimal you need to maintain the four digits okay so this is how we learned yesterday so this is just a reminder of yesterday's work where what we did we just multiplied a decimal number with another decimal number now Today we are going to multi uh, learn this topic which is multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. So this actually uh, we can do normally like for example let's say 0 0.5 into 10 if we do normally 5 zero is a 0, 0 0 is a 0 then we put across 1 5 is a 5, 1 0 is a 0. So answer what 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 is the answer we get um, 0 5 zero zero 5 plus 0 5 then 0 so we don't write the 0 over here so after this like after decimal there is one digit so you can write like this so 5.0 right so 5.0 means actually what 5 if after a decimal number there is only zero we need to only consider the number we don't consider the zero anymore okay remember this after decimal if there is only a zero if there is only a zero there is no other number we don't consider the zero anymore you just get we just consider the number only so this is actually a lengthy process where you need to multiply then you get the answer we'll try to get try to learn the shortcut techniques of multiplication how to multiply decimal numbers okay so for example let's start with one 5.6 into 10 equals to what 5.6 into 100 equals what and 5.6 into 1000 equals what so we will try to learn the shorter, shorter way means the uh, shortcut of how to solve this you see over 10 there there is one zero here is there there is two zeros here there is how many three zeros so if i put a box like we, once we create the box let's say if there is one zero suppose you are multiplying with 10 we just need to move the position of point okay so you see there is one zero so we move one time 
there is two zero we move the this this decimal two times there are three zeros we move this decimal three times okay next what do we do if there is a box empty you can see a box is created right by putting this we put a zero in in your answer we'll actually put a zero over here here how many boxes are empty two boxes so actually the answer will be five six zero zero now where has the point gone this point actually comes after this number okay for the first one so it becomes 56 then the point goes front so point after point there is nothing so 56 is our answer similarly over here the point goes one step then second step so it comes after zero okay if a, if you see an empty box you need to fill it up with zero okay so it becomes 5.6 into 100 is actually 560 then the point comes so we just remove the point you can see over here it goes one step two step three steps so two boxes are empty over here so we can put a zero over here a zero over here so five six zero zero this point actually this is indicating that the decimal is going far away okay this the decimal is going three steps away one step two step three steps so three decimal is over here after decimal there is no number so we don't consider the decimal anymore so what is the answer of this 5.6 into 10 is 56 5.6 into 100 is 560 5.6 into 1000 is 5600 you just need to make boxes like this I'll may, uh, be explaining it to you again, like uh, taking another example. For example, let's say 2.75 into 10. We'll try the same with 100. We'll try the same with 1000 as well. Okay. So the here there is one zero. So the point goes one step over here okay here there are two zeros the point goes one step two step okay here there are three zeros so the point goes one step two step three step okay so over here you see there are no empty boxes like this there were empty boxes over here you can see there were empty boxes here there is no empty box so we'll just move the position of the decimal so over here like it was 2.75 now if the decimal goes one step ahead in front of 7 it becomes what 27.5 just the decimal goes front okay in the second one in the second for 100 the decimal goes one step two step so it comes over here here there is no number but and there are no empty boxes as well so 275 after this the point is over here so point is over here but we don't require after point there is no number so we just don't write the point anymore next over here the point goes three steps so one step two step here there is a box empty so we just for this box we will write a zero so two seven five zero so after zero the decimal is there so decimal we don't write the decimal because after decimal there is no number so if we multiply 2.75 into 1000 comes 2750 it will if we multiply 2.75 into 100 it comes 275 if we multiply 2.75 into 10 it comes 27.5 so you are understanding the pattern how the decimal goes just front you don't need even to multiply like this this way just remember the number of zeros you have if it's with if you multiply with 10 the decimal goes one step ahead if you multiply with 100 the decimal goes two steps ahead if you multiply with 1000 the decimal goes three steps ahead okay i'll i'll share another example so that it gets very clear to you for example let's say 
3.375 into 10 so here after decimal I am taking three digits okay 3.375 into 100 so we need to create boxes remember we need to create boxes if the box is, the box is empty we put a zero if the box is not empty we just just move the position of the decimal that's it okay 3.375 into 1000 so see into 10 the decimal moves one step so it's over here into 100 the decimal moves two step into 1000 the decimal moves three step so here the box is not empty so we just move the position of the decimal so it becomes 33 you see the decimal is over here right so the decimal moves after 3 so 33.75 over here the decimal one step two steps so the decimal has come over here after 7 so the answer will be 337.5 similarly into 1000 one step two step three steps so the decimal moves after five so we can write three three seven five point if there is no number we write zero but after what i said before that is if after decimal there is zero we don't need to write the zero so we just skip it so answer is three three seven five for this three three seven point five and for this three three point seven five okay so I hope this is clear how to multiply using 10, 100 and 1000. Just I'll just uh, remind one more like I'll try now two or three different numbers with 10, 100 and 1000 just to uh, remind you 2.3 into 10. So let's see what will be the answer for this 2.65 into 1000. Let's say 2.5 into thousand four point seven five into hundred six point five into ten five point two five into hundred for example let's see I will actually the technique which I showed you just now I will use to solve this so how many zeros are over here one zero so we are actually multiplying with ten so it will go just one step ahead so one step ahead means the decimal comes after 3 is there any box empty no so it becomes 23 and point comes over here so after point there is no number so we don't write the point that's it answer is 23 2.65 into thousand so how since there are three zeros it will jump three times one step two step three step got it so there is one empty box over here first we write down the number 2650 because of this empty box and the decimal has gone after zero after zero we don't write any more decimal that's it 2.5 into thousand one two three so this will go three steps ahead one two three so after five there are two boxes remaining so for these two boxes i'll write two zeros Two zeros okay so this point comes after zero but we don't write any any anything else okay that's it 4.75 into 100 one step two step there are no empty boxes we just write 475 because after five there is no no number so we don't write anything 6.5 into 10 one step after five there is we just move the decimal after 5 no empty boxes so we just keep it as it is so it's 65 so 5.25 into 100 it will move since there are two zeros two box two steps ahead one step two step so it becomes 525 and uh, the point comes so after 5 so after 5 there is no more zeros that's it 525 is the answer so did you get my point how do how to solve this also just add on let's say this 2.394 into 100 as well 
so 6.75 into 10 of, for this type of example the point goes one step ahead no boxes but the after decimal there is a number so we need to include that so 67 point goes after 7 again into 100 one step two step after decimal there is a number so answer will be 239.4 so I hope this part is clear okay how to multiply with 10 100 and 1000